Well, there's talk on Capitol Hill about freezing the debt ceiling. That is the legal limit on the amount of money that Uncle Sam can borrow. Some say we should freeze it. Some say we should raise it. It's, it's tough to know what really is going to happen. But the big situation is, is that if we default on our debt, some say, it's going to be catastrophic for our economy. We can't do that, so the ceiling must be raised. Now there's a plan that maybe allows us to do both not raise the debt ceiling, and not default on our debt. It's a brand new idea coming from a brand new senator. Pat Toomey, a Republican from Pennsylvania, is joining us now with his thoughts on this. So, uh, Senator Toomey, what's your idea? Uh, well, first of all, uh, eventually we probably will raise the debt ceiling, but it's very, very important to me that we not do that unless we've taken the steps to get spending under control. So how do we make sure that we don't have a default on our bonds in the meantime and if there is a period during which we can't keep the debt ceiling frozen where it is? Well, the answer is simple, really. Uh, the government's going to take in a lot of revenue from taxes, even if there is no increase in the debt ceiling and no ability to borrow extra money, people are still going to have to pay their taxes. That's more than enough money to pay all the interest and principal on our bonds. And so I'm going to introduce legislation that will simply instruct the Treasury and say, in the event that we do not lift the debt ceiling and we reach it, then the first priority will be to pay interest and principal payments on our bonds so that the U.S. government will not default and we will not have a financial crisis. This can be avoided. The Treasury Secretary, Tim Geithner, says if we don't raise the debt ceiling, it's going to be, and this is his words, catastro there's going to be catastrophic economic consequences that will last for decades. Do you agree with that? And has the Treasury Secretary reacted at all to your plan? Uh, I haven't heard a reaction uh, from him to my plan, but I have to tell you, I, I think business as usual will lead to catastrophic results. If we just keep running massive deficits, keep racking up debt, you know the total amount of debt has been accelerating dr very dramatically. Uh, we've seen how this ends for countries in Europe. Uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a disaster that, that's unfolding, and I'm just not willing to go along with business as usual. So what I'm saying is, let's take the specter of default on our debt off the table. We can avoid that under any circumstance. And then let's insist that if we're going to raise the debt ceiling, we're going to do it with new cuts in spending and new disciplines in the budget process that will allow us to get a, a sustainable fiscal trajectory, get us to a balanced budget. I just think we have to make those changes. When you talk about new spending cuts, let's get a little bit more specific because we've talked a lot about compromise, about, okay, we'll raise the debt ceiling, but with it, as you mentioned, are going to have to come some serious cuts. What's a reasonable expectation for our audience about what kind of cuts the Republicans would like to see? Well, you know, there's a lot of specifics. Uh, I, I'm one that thinks that uh, we need to ban earmarks, uh, and, and there's a lot of consensus on that. I don't think we should be bailing out failing companies. I don't agree with the idea that, that government should launch stimulus spending to try to get economic growth going again. That just is a failed policy. I don't think we should be subsidizing corporations. There's a lot of places where we can cut spending. Ultimately, what I think we really ought to do is agree to a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution, which over time gets us to a balanced budget, limits total spending as a percentage of our economy so that we don't uh, just keep growing government, and make it very hard to raise taxes, a supermajority vote in Congress. Uh, that would be necessary to, to raise taxes. You know, if we could put together a package like that, then, then I think the entire world would breathe a great sigh of relief, would see that the U.S. government is now fiscally on a sustainable path. I think it would be terrific for our economy, and it's, it's what we need to do. It sounds great. Is it possible? Well, it, I think it's more possible now than it's ever been. You know, the election last fall was to a large degree about getting the government under control, getting spending under control, reducing deficits. The, the Pennsylvanians that I talk to every day, they know we can't borrow and spend our way to prosperity, and they're worried that their kids' future is jeopardized by this mountain of debt that we just keep piling on every day. They want us to do something about it. So I think it's, I think it's more possible now than it's ever been. Senator Toomey, we'll take that optimism, that's for sure, especially when talking about some of these big issues. Uh, we appreciate you very much joining us today, and we look forward to talking to you again, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me.